today we're joined by Dave Zek. Dave, do you want to tell everybody a little bit about yourself? Okay, I'm Dave Zek. Um, my first year at Buckeye was 1976. Um, I've been there about 43 times, I think, something like that. I was on committee for about 14 years, something like that. Um, I was My first year on committee was 1982. Um, it was still Buckeye Recreation Workshop back then. I held at Pilgrim Hills. Um, we were at Pilgrim Hills for quite a few years until we moved to Rec Unlimited in 1992 or 93, I don't remember. Um, we actually moved there before they built the lodge that we we're in now. Um, I came as a 4-H representative my first year. Um, then I came back on my own the next year. It cost all of $60 to come to Buckeye. Um, and it was one more day back then. I think we went in on a Friday night and it went till Wednesday, something like that. Um, um, I've been a 4-H, I was in 4-H forever. I still am a 4-H leader. Um, I use it at 4-H camp. I use it, at, uh, I'm on staff for leadership camp where I help do uh, a, a session on discipline. We do some, we do shooting sports, but we also do some team building activities. Um, I'm also a 4-H camp staff for Wayne County 4-H and I help train counselors for Wayne County 4-H. I've also trained recreation leaders and counselors in 10 or 12 different counties. Um, Buckeye's been pretty much part of my life for a long time. I've now decided it's more fun to come back as a workshopper than have to be on committee and do all the, the hard work before workshop. I'll leave that up to Ted. Do you have a favorite song at Song Circle or anything? One of my favorite songs is In My Room or uh, Let Your Light let your light shine and uh, that's always one of the best harmony songs I think for the circle. All right so since you've been coming for a while do you have a favorite memory session or activity from Buckeye? I remember I used to teach recreation or rec recreation leaders how to teach games and uh, the way I taught it is the first day I did games with them but then the rest of the, the whole week I didn't teach anything they had to teach me a game that they learned and, and teach the, the whole group their game. So we all learn new games and uh, they could take things out of my notebook section. I had hundreds of games in there, but um, they had to teach the game to everybody. So it was more of a hands-on learning thing. So that was one of my favorite sessions. And then any of the woodworking sessions with Bill Henderson, um, some of the great sessions with Chuck Worth, I did, um, uh, Project Wild with him that was fantastic, working with groups that and games that you play outside and Predator and Prey. I still play today at camp. I also teach at shooting sports camp. So is there something that you learned at BLW that you use in your personal life that surprises you? I don't know. Since BLW has been part of my life for so much, I probably do use things that I've learned at Buckeye. Um, Nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> so do you have advice for people that might be on the fence about attending BLW in the future? BLW is a different workshop than any workshop or camp you've ever been to. Um, I tell people at leadership camp, I'm, it's, I'm a big advocate of, they said, well, this is my last year at camp. I said, it's never your last year. You can go to other camps. I know people that are much older than I am that go to Buckeye Leadership Workshop. And uh, that's one of the, the unique things about BLW is you can have workshoppers that are 15 years old. You can have workshoppers that are 75 years old. And uh, they all work together and sometimes learning at the same time, the same thing. So um, it's, it's so unique in that way. So is there somebody that you met at BLW that has made a lasting yeah. impact on your life? Many people at Buckeye have made a lasting impact on my life. Um, Dortha Mengert um, was one of my first Think Together leaders. Uh, she was she was uh, a very special person. She was the registrar for many years, and she always took care of the bookstore. She knew everybody's name at Buckeye. She recognized she could tell you everybody's name every year, and she memorized everybody's name. And she made sure. But there's been many people at Buckeye that have been outstanding. Bill Bill Alcar, 
very jolly. John Fark, you know, Susie Smithers, you know, there's just hundreds of them that are just lasting friends. Uh, Tish Reinking, Tish Sampson now, um, friends forever. You got friends that, even a friend that you don't see every year, like Tom McConaughey, um, friends that you, you don't see every year, they're still friends forever because they're part of your Buckeye family. All right, so do you have any closing comments for everybody? Um, I hope next year we get to have a real Buckeye. Uh, it was a real kick in the gut to not have camps last year. And then again, to not have it this year. Um, we're still hoping for 4-H camp. I was up with uh, 31 4-H camp counselors last week, and we're planning on having a, a real camp for w Wayne County this year. Um, keep the Buckeye spirit alive. And one thing I always say, Buckeye's never over. Buckeye's not over is every time you use something you've learned at Buckeye, Buckeye continues on. So that's what makes Buckeye what it is, is making, using what you learn there and spreading the, the Buckeye spirit to other people. All right. Thanks.